For the rotational acceleration experiment, we have the entire rotational dynamics apparatus. In this case, we're only using the top disc, which is made of aluminum. In addition, we have two pulleys, the screw we use to keep the pulleys in place, and finally the weight which provides the force that we're accelerating. On one end of the string is this loop here, which we basically place underneath the pulley, the screw through both of them, and screw them into the top of the spindle. In the angular rotation lab, there's also a right way and a wrong way for this lab to be performed. This is the bottom disc. You'll notice this depression on the disc. That should be placed in the downward position on the spindle. As shown here. Please be careful with the disc as it is a frictionless surface. In this experiment, we're actually recording and measuring the moment of inertia of this top disc, which is made of aluminum. We do this in two different ways. The first way, which is the easy way, where we basically take the radius of the aluminum disc and its mass. Notice how I take the aluminum disc's radius by measuring its diameter. We simply divide this measurement in half. To get its weight, that is to say its mass, because weight is incorrect, we simply take it up to the balance. There we use the appropriate formulas to calculate its moment of inertia. For the disk method, we look at how much it accelerates and the radius of this disk. So, we need to measure the inside radius of the disk. In actually making this experiment uh, work, we essentially need to wind up the string around the pulley. So to do so, we put the pulley over the frictionless uh, bearing and simply spin the top disk. Once we have this set up, we arrest the swinging of the weight. We begin taking data with Data Studio and try to start from a complete stop and simply release.